Hi everyone and welcome to another video. In our last video, we saw how find function works. And in today's video, we will see how you can use the find function along with other functions like left and right. So let's get started. What I have here is a list of full names and using the find and left and right combinations, we will try to find out the first and last name. Let's see how this is done using these formulas. So the very first thing is you want the first name here. For that, we start typing the formula that is equal to left. In case you haven't watched how to use the left and right for functions, I will leave the link to that video in the description as well. So it's pretty straightforward. Let me show you how. You type in left, open the parenthesis, and then it will ask you for two parameters. The first one is the text itself. So we want this text that is a2 that is uh, we are trying to find out the first name which is Hashim in this case so we'll select a2 put in a comma and then it will ask you for the number of characters so ideally what you will do is you know let's say Hashim is a six letter word you will type in six close the bracket and you will have your first name here but the problem is if you have a large set of data it will not work for all the lengths of first names so you can see uh, this will give you a first name as Ted space MC because in the formula here, you are actually selecting the first six characters from the left. So we have a solution to that. This is where your, this is where your find formula comes into picture. So what you can do is once you have selected the text, put in a comma and then it will ask you for the number of characters. Now you remember that when you use the find formula, the find formula will give you the location of a particular character in the cell, right? So in this case, what we want to do is we just want Hashim. So every first name is followed by a space. So in that case, we will try to find where is the space located. For that, I'm typing in the formula find and it will ask you for three parameters. The first one is the find text itself. So again, our find text will be the same. That is sorry my bad I'm going back in this case our find text will be a space because we are trying to find the position of the space character comma and within text will be your a2 that is the full name itself and then there is another parameter which is the start number so in this case we are starting from the beginning of the string itself so we don't need to provide that and now let me just Close the bracket because there are two opening brackets. There should be two closing brackets and press enter. And now you have your first name. When I try to fill it now, it will give me the exact first names because in this case, we are not using a number. We are basically using a formula within another formula to find the position of a string. So that's how you can make use of find within the left formula. Now, one thing you may notice here is let me just show you the length of it you can use the alien function to find the length of a string length of this is seven let me just fill it up okay but if you notice length of this is seven but actually h a s h i m are only six characters so why is this giving us seven similarly ted it is just three characters it's giving us four so there is one extra character that has come in and that's because if you notice what it what the formula is doing is it is finding the character which is the space character for you and it is taking that character as well when it gives you the result okay so all you have to do is just remove that one extra character which is the space character for that all you need to do is in the formula just put a minus one all right now press enter and there you go you can see the you know size of the first name changing and now it is showing us properly hira hira is four characters mary four ted three and hashim six so that's just one uh, input for you all right now in order to calculate the last name what you can do is you can use the right formula so we'll use a combination of right and find let me type in right press the tab key on your keyboard 
and again it will ask you for the text so what is the text here text is your full name comma number of characters so the reason why we are using find is because the result of using find will give you a number and that will be the input for this parameter all right so you type in find and what do you want to find here so this is a bit tricky because you want to find the space character correct but now because you are using it from the right side it's a little tedious to find so i have a workaround for that so let me just show you for example if you calculate the length of this string the entire string it will give you 11 correct now if you calculate the length of just the last name which is 4 correct so for example the length of the last name here is 4 right and what is the difference so 11 minus 4 sorry my bad 11 minus 4 okay this is coming as a date uh, because uh, this cell is formatted as a date cell let me just change it to number okay so 11 minus 4 will give you 7 all right it will give you 7 now we just need the 7 here that is in our right function we need the 7 so how do we get that all we have to do is let me just type in the formula the text is a2 the number of characters we can find it using what we'll do is we'll find the length of the actual string first which is 11 in this case and we will sub subtract the position so position because position will also give you a number only correct so you will find the space character in a2 okay let me just close this so basically what we are trying to do here is from a2 that is this full name we are trying to find the position of the space character from the right all right in order to do that what we are doing is we are calculating the entire length of the string and from that we are subtracting what will be the position of space in a2 so the position that is this section find space a2 will give you 7 and length of a2 will be 11 all right let's see if this works okay so you have the last name here let me see if it works for the others and there you go you have the last name as well so i hope this was helpful in case you have any doubts regarding this uh, particular uh, video on how to calculate it i know it's a bit confusing but once you Try to do it yourself and try to understand it. You will get a hang of it. So that's about it. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you are yet to subscribe to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And uh, if there are any comments at all, let me know and I'll answer to each of the comments. Thank you and have a great day. See you with another video in the coming week.